Hey friends, today I'm gonna to walk around the garden and just take you with me. I'm not gonna do an official full garden tour, but we're just gonna see where things are at. I will do a full on official garden tour next weekend because by then I should have everything planned and we'll call that the end of May garden tour. This is just for fun to kind of see what's changed a little bit in the last while. One of the things that has taken off a lot in this last week is this lettuce. It is really starting to get big and heading up a little bit. I'm really excited about that. I'm also excited I've got green onion seed heads starting. Now, how I do this, I've mentioned it before a little bit, but I grow these green onions right here in this patch and I've got new ones planted. But the ones that are old and that are gonna go to seed, I will save the seed from these seed heads. So I've got one, two of them right now. I might get another one. I'll go ahead and put little um, organza bags on top of these and save the seed head. So I have more seed. I'll actually just sprinkle some of it down here too. And that keeps me a perpetual pocket, perpetual pocket of green onions. Kales are getting nice and big. Somebody over here was trying to eat the mustard, but that mustard looks really good. Hey ladies, how's it going? I'll bring a snack in a second. Here is the leaf lettuce starting to really take off. This will grow really fast now that the warmer temps are coming up. You'll be surprised how fast I get leaf lettuce off of that. Here's this corner over here that I redid last week. Everything in here looks just fine. I was a little worried about these Cosmos transplant shocking, but they're doing fine. So we're the ones back here. My puppy keeps digging everywhere else. I'm gonna have to get some mulch on this bed <laughs> to keep her from getting into trouble. Look, we have strawberry flowers. Hey, pretty girl. These are alpine strawberries in these blocks. And they're pretty much just here for Ava <laughs> to come out and pick. Here's the staging center with all the tomatoes. My sister came and got her tomatoes and peppers. My sister-in-law's coming today or tomorrow to get hers. And I'm gonna put mine in the ground this week. <gasps> Isn't that exciting? So got a staging area mess going on over here. This is the part of gardening that my husband likes the least. He gets very annoyed when my stuff is everywhere, which is the case right now. But these guys are going to homes. Those are my peppers that I'm gonna plant. Got some stuff here that I'm gonna plant. Oh, the ranunculus look good. This is really starting to take off in here too. There's some more alpine strawberries. Oop, there's a flower right there. Those are some of those cauliflower. They look really good. The celery looks really good. Oh, wait, do you see the spinach? The spinach looks amazing. Oh, but first, look over here. This is what I thought was some kind of lily or something, and apparently it's a wild onion. I'm gonna get stuff right there. And then back here, my broccoli has bolted. All three of those ones on the end bolted. I think I've only got two plants left that did not bolt. So the chickens will end up getting those, bummer. The driveway is looking amazing. Look at, look at these peas. Look how huge they are. I gotta back up a little. They're doing really, really good. They've just taken off. Same thing with these kohlrabi. They've doubled, tripled in size maybe. Now, the one thing I'm having problems with is I did lose some tomatoes. So I've got a cherry tomato there. Well, there used to be one there and there and there and something came and ate them oh it ate the one back there too all right so now i've only got one cherry tomato over here and then we'll look at the other side in a minute oh, look at guys hi it's kind of early for you to be button already isn't it that's my geranium nice but look at the spinach bed oh, i'm gonna come in here and harvest spinach is what i'm gonna do and these radishes look at you see these little baby radish Hey, honey. Oh, I could probably almost come in here and harvest these pretty soon. Well, that's fun. So the radishes look amazing. The spinach looks really good. It's really full over in this area. I'm gonna come through and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to harvest leaves off. Oop, you can't live here, little lamb's quarter. Um, lamb's quarter is one of the worst weeds in my yard. It is edible, but I don't want it here. Oh, so good. Here's some more radishes that look like they're getting kind of, oh, they're not too big. Their leaves are big. 
And then I have these random sunflower volunteers in here. And this is a calendula volunteer. <laughs> Sunflower. Sunflower, sunflowers. Now this bed is pretty short. I don't know if sunflowers are going to get the root system. They need to actually flower in here. But I like a good experiment. So let's see what happens, guys. Oh, this is amazing looking. Oh, look at the sneaky lamb's quarter. I told you. You cannot live here. This is spinach home. How insane these chicks and hens are. Look how many of those are popping out. So all I'll do is go along through here and pull them out and pop them in other places. Not right now, I'm not going to. I even got some red ones. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? I love it so much. Look here, no cherry tomatoes. What in the heck would come? And it's not that they're dead and missing. They're just totally gone. Something came and dug up and took my cherry tomato plants. Didn't touch the peas. Didn't touch the kohlrabi. Just went in and took the entire thing. I wonder if it was roly poly bugs. Dang it all to heck. So I have got only a couple of cherry tomatoes left. And then uh, I may have to think about putting something else over here. This is the lamium blooming. And this is why I let it live here, because it blooms super pretty and super early for all the pollinators. So you can see it's all in here in my irises. It's trying to make its way back in there. It's under this bush. It's over here under this bush, and it's starting to trail back there. So I will let it bloom, and then I'll go ahead and pull it back to this corner so it stays in its home. But she's definitely a spring beauty. I really, really like having her in the spring garden. The bees love her. Oh, look, I'm growing a maple tree in the middle of my hedge. Hmm. Hey, maple tree, you're gonna have to come out of here. These <laughs> are garlic, I think. Overwintered garlic that I never pulled. They did this last year too, so there must be more in there. Bet you they make scapes or heads on me. <gasps> Look at this clematis just greening up. That is gonna be so pretty when it flowers up the side of the house like that. I don't know what to do with the bottom where it's dead. It's not really dead, that's where it grows from, but I don't, what do you guys do with the bottom of your clematis when it dies out? Does anybody have any ideas for me? Do you plant something in front of it? Do you wind it back down among itself? I'm not really sure what to do there yet. That's pretty. All right, I need Clematis help. Friends, help a girl out. This is my project the other night that I didn't quite finish, but I'm expanding this out and moving some bricks along here to make a bigger bed and pretty much to get my, to get my peonies inside of a bed so they don't get mowed over. I did put some salvia here that's having a rough time, and I put a pretty kale over here. So I'm kind of hoping to make a little spot in the corner and put some things in here. Here's some more of that lamium. The honeysuckle is blooming. Hey, honey. So pretty. Look at these tulips. Aren't they pretty? Just the stripy colors on them. Oh, they're just, this does not do them justice. I might have to pick some of these and bring them in the house. They're gorgeous. Then over here is the other peony. This salvia looks like it's taking much better. It must have got a better root when I pulled it. And on this side, I put a chamomile. I think that'll look really pretty kind of bushing out here. So my goal is kind of just to get this filled in. Ooh, it's getting windy. I wonder if we're gonna get rain today. Ugh, this is so pretty, guys. All the tulips are blown out. Ooh, look at this one. Look at that pretty pale yellow. I don't remember you last year. You're gorgeous. Oh, I could look at them all day long. Back there, the peas are doing pretty good. You guys are so pretty. I did give this bush a cutting. I don't know if it's gonna help or hinder it. I need to cut some more out of it, I think. She's looking, she's looking like she might need more of a haircut. We'll see, we'll see. The woodruff, this is sweet woodruff. Ha! Ah, more tulips. Guys, this is Boucher's Rosebush. Look how amazing it is coming in. Oh, so 
good new growth down at the bottom, new canes coming up. I'm so glad I didn't prune this this year and I'm just kind of letting her go. It, I'm really getting a lot more green. If I would have pruned this earlier, there are quite a few more that I would have pruned off and that would have been a mistake, I think. So that's going to look just beautiful. Oh, beautiful bush. Chai blossoms have been teasing me. They're not quite open, but they're close. They're getting nice and purple. I can't wait. These columbine are something that kind of got knocked back with the weird weather we've been having, which is funny to me because they're always in bloom pretty early. And I'm actually surprised that the weather, the only thing I can think of is that maybe that heat followed by that cold has kind of got them confused with what they're supposed to be doing. So they're not really sure. I don't know if I'll get columbine flowers this year or not. This might be the prettiest patch of tulips. Uh, hi girls. Just nice, simple, striking, hot pink all in a row. You guys look lovely. I think I've mentioned the time or 20 how much I love volunteer plants. This is a crack in the sidewalk. Do you see this? A crack in the sidewalk. And these snapdragons just fell in there and are growing. Same thing down here. Look at, just cracks in the sidewalk. Look at them all. They're all gonna grow. Look how many more I got down here. Those are all baby snapdragons. How many snapdragons am I gonna have here growing out of this cement? Nature is awesome. This experiment I got going over here on the fence with the um, Brussels sprouts has got me interested. Things are starting to grow in. That one looks really good. This one looks really good. Maybe this is gonna be something that I do a lot more. I'm not sure. There's a lot of things coming up here. You see them all? That one looks amazing. Oh goodness. This grass, this is that um, Star of Bethlehem. It doesn't last into the summer, so it's already starting to turn. It will go, I'll have to go ahead and pull that out maybe in another, probably another two weeks. I would say before June it'll be gone. There's another Brussel. Yeah, see how that grass is starting to turn? Some more tulips. Here's some more of those pretty red and white ones. Those are so pretty. Oh, and look at the showstopper down here. It's windy out, otherwise this would be covered with bees. They love it. Now, don't ask me what it's called because here's what I want to say it's called. I want to say it's called Lady's Mantle, but I feel like I might be wrong. So don't 100% take my word on it, but she gorgeous. This one's another one that blooms just in the spring and then it'll be just this really pretty green cover for the rest of the season. We got onions. Not the ones I grew, but set onions, and I will take it. An onion is an onion, right? You see those tulips moving? See how windy it is? Mother Nature's not sure what she wants to do. She keeps throwing some sunshine out, and then she keeps putting it behind the clouds. It gets windy, and then it gets beautiful. We're not sure what's happening today, but I have a lot of things going on. Our son is going to prom tonight, so we're going to try and get the house in the yard cleaned up and then get ourselves cleaned up and go take some pictures and go out to dinner and yeah, just have a good time. All right guys, I hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this sneak peek at the garden and I will be back tomorrow.